Hello everybody, this is another quick tutorial uh, regarding um, stored procedures. So we're going to create a stored procedure that's going to list the number, the count of uh, G-movies in the Sakila database. The Sakila database, uh, you can download it if you Google, uh, you know, Sakila uh, database in MySQL. They can, that can take you to a link that you can uh, download the Sakila to your, uh, to your workbench and then you can practice, you know, those exercises. Um, so what I would do is um, write a select statement that will uh, give me um, a count of G-movies. So I'm going to write a generic text, count of g movies and then uh, close it it's just a text can be anything really and then I have my function the count and uh, this one is gonna calculate the give me the count of G movies in the table called film because if you can see here in the list of tables that exist in Sakila. And notice that I'm double clicking on Sakila, that way I don't have to use the statement to use Sakila. And then in my list of tables, one of the tables is called film, this one here. And uh, film has a column called the G rating, right? And it's uh, the O rating. Do, 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 do. This one here. Okay, so from film, where green equals then since it's a text a g and semicolon to close my statement so this one should generate the list of um, movies that's called uh, that has a rating of g and the count of movies is 178 so let me clear this now, what I want to do is create this one as a stored procedure. So what is a stored procedure? Let me go quickly to my uh, PowerPoint and uh, give you a quick definition on my, let me go back one slide. A stored procedure basically is a subroutine, a sub program that you can call and you can use it and reuse it. Uh, it's, um, it's stored in database and basically uh, it's used for quickly querying or transforming updating data it's a, it's a it's a very useful tool in mysql to create it it's easy you just right click on create stored procedure and then that will generate a begin and end uh, statement for you with a procedure name and then in in between the begin and end you put your select statement in there uh, it's it's uh, the syntax for it. If you were not using Workbench, it will be like this: um, use uh, and the name of the database, drop procedure if exists, and then there is a delimiter at the beginning, delimiter at the end, and then um, there is the the create procedure with the procedure name. Uh, for example, this one we call the uh, count G film, um, and then there is a begin and an end statement. As you can see, there is a begin and end statement. And then in between, there is the your select statement. So Workbench makes it much easier, so you don't have to do all that. All you have to do is copy and paste your, your select statement, which is this one between the beginning and the end. And then once you are done, you can call uh, your, uh, your, um, your stored procedure using the call statement. And then that's going to give you the count of, of movies that has uh, with the rating um, uh, G. Okay, so I'm going to end the show, go back to... Um, my stored procedure and we're gonna do exactly that stored procedure right click create and then between the begin and end I'm gonna paste <laughs> can be found in the product description all right I forgot to copy my uh, statement right all right that happens <laughs> all right so let's go back and paste that and then don't forget the semicolon here if you forget that it's going to give you an error and then here you can put the name that makes more sense to you try to keep names short since you're going to be using them in a call statement count g movies that's just like that so i'm gonna copy that just to put it in my call when i'm doing now okay copy and then i'm gonna apply so if i don't have any errors gonna give me the a statement executed successfully, executed statement, and finish.
Now if I want to call it, and if you refresh, you should see it in the list of stored procedures when you refresh your database count gmovies, as you can see here. And then now I can do a call semicolon. All right, and count of gmovies 178. And that's it. It's not very difficult, especially with Workbench. It makes it much easier. You don't have to remember all the craziness in the syntax. But it's good to know, you know, how uh, a sort procedure is written. Thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day.